Hi everybody, I'm Mike Earhart. I'm the head of school here at Cary Academy. Welcome to our video blog. I've been uh, the head of Cary Academy for one year now and prior to that spent a number of years uh, living and working overseas in the country of Cyprus, uh, in Brazil for 10 years, and in London, England. Prior to coming here to North Carolina, I was the head of school at the Marshall School in Duluth, Minnesota, which is my home state. I've been working in education a long time, and I've been a technology director, a middle school principal, as well as a head of school. But if I think back to one of my earlier leadership experiences, I'd have to go back to college when I took on the role of executive editor of my college newspaper. That, I learned a lot uh, during that experience, in particular, uh, not only with managing people and meeting deadlines, uh, but also the expectations that come when other people are depending on the work that you put out. Uh, meaning the readers of our paper as well as the administrators and the faculty and the parents uh, who also had a vested stake in what we said and what we reported. Now for this blog I also want to show you uh, an object that is important to me and I want to tell you a personal best leadership story um, and I'm going to do that by combining both of those things. So I'm going to uh, show you first this t-shirt which uh, as you can see here it, uh, it, was, it came into creation in the year 2002 uh, during what we called at that particular time the Big Four Tournament. And this took place when I was uh, living and working in Brazil. And at that particular time, I was the assistant principal of the upper school. And uh, the Big Four Tournament t-shirt, which um, has had a lot of wear and tear, is still in my, in my jogging wardrobe, um, even this day, uh, you know, 12 years uh, after it was initially uh, brought into life in Brazil. This object is important to me and is related to my personal best leadership story because um, in the year 2002, uh, our group, our leadership team in the upper school, got together to organize a, a Big Four tournament, which was a sports tournament for four schools in the Sao Paulo, Brazil area. And um, it was tradition to have that, the hosting of that tournament rotate uh, around individual schools. And I remember when our upper school principal, uh, Craig Johnson, who is now the head of school at the American School of uh, Mumbai, of Bombay in India, um, called us all together. And um, also on that team was Barry DeQuan, who is the head of the school, the American School in Brasilia right now, um, and said that we, we really wanted to do something a little bit different, um, including our athletic director, Jeff Marquis, um, we devised to put on uh, a fabulous tournament that also involved a wide cross-section of the school community. Parents, students, others, uh, non-athletes and athletes alike. And so um, one of the things as I, as I reflect upon that experience, it was really uh, an opportunity for me to see firsthand how you can collaborate to extend the impact of what was up until that particular point uh, just a four-team tournament uh, to play volleyball, to play indoor soccer, um, and uh, we really made it into a, a community-wide event. Uh, we broadened the scope to include parents for hospitality. Um, I got, as the, as, the upper, as the assistant upper school principal as well as the technology director, I got a number of my students involved in our video team uh, to record games and to put little snippets together, and uh, we actually went so far as to, as to bring in uh, giant big screens that were uh, put up as big video boards um, out in the common foyers so that um, our videographers could do their interviews and do their reporting and everyone as they were gathering around the snack bar and others got to see the work uh, that was going on outside of just the athletic